Okay, well, look, welcome to the early, early show. It is a fantastic time for Southern right now, and I'll tell you why it's a fantastic time, because we are standing here very early in the morning, and it is um, the first episode of the early, early show, so that's pretty fantastic, and also, uh, it's the beginning of a new semester, right? About, it's, I know we're like a month in, but, you know, whatever, give me a break. Um, and it's fall, so fall's nice, it's cool weather, you know, whatever. Um, everyone cool, likes the cool, right? And, you know, we're outside, so, yeah, it's, um, good. This is our second time filming this, I'm just gonna say that right off the bat. Um, you know, interns, am I right? <laughs> uh, and anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is, um, pretty great or whatever, um, Fantastic time on campus. I don't know. I really don't know. It's early, right? What can I say? There's really nothing else to be thankful for. There's really nothing else fantastic about Southern right now other than that. It's fall and uh, full of potential. So, yeah. Play the cringe intro. When you're up too late to procrastinate and you know there's nothing on TV. When you can see the sun and the day's begun and the rest of your night's at the free. When you've nothing left to do, open up YouTube and click on something on CTV. When the creeps are out and Captain Owl's about, you know it's time to get online and watch the Early Early Show with me. Alright, well, um, <clears throat> my holy friend, you know, interns, what are you going to do? Can't live with them. Anyway, uh, so, this is very exciting, right? At, like, I got a whole table here. I got Manny Turner down from Outer Space, right? Down from the, the Shuttle of Compassion. Um, so. Send me back. No, uh, no, I, you're here. You're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're here. You're stationed here. This is better for you. You don't have to watch crappy movies anymore, right? So you should be thankful. Okay. Yeah. You do have to watch me do my thing, so that might be just as bad. But anyway, so what do we got going for us right now? Well, in case you didn't notice, I'm Spencer. I'm in a suit. It's a blue suit, and I'm drinking blue Mountain Dew. We got the blue TARDIS, blue uh, nut button. So, you know, it's a lot of blue going on here. But I'm not blue because... First episode of the show. First order of business is, uh, of course, that intro sucks, right? That's awful. So uh, if anyone has a new intro for us to use, feel free to email us to our email for the show. Um, I'm being dead honest right now. Uh, oh boy, I wonder who made it. Yeah, no, it was me. I'll be yeah, it was me. I mean, I'm not a music person, so that'll explain everything about it. But anyway. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the show, and, um, it's really, I, I have no idea what I'm doing here. It shouldn't really be a secret. Sometimes we'll have guests, but, uh, I don't think we're gonna have a guest this morning. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just have to make do without guests. You know, throw caution in the wind. I can do the show with me and Manny. We got this. We got this and sound in turn, okay? We got this. So, anyway, you know, I'm just gonna jump right into the first segment of the show, which is in the news. That's the in the news segment. In the news. Um, so yeah, in the news. We have a newspaper on campus, and no one ever reads it, at least to my knowledge, but we're going to read it today on the show, and uh, you know, every show. We're going to read through the news, you know, look through it, see what's going on in Southern. So let's look at what we have in the news. We have a little content, uh, we have a little table of contents here. So we have Student Involvement Fair, page two, Parking for Students, page three, and way over here, Women's Soccer Game, page four. Wow, all the way in page four. Now, I suppose if it were men's soccer, it would be at least page three, you know, uh, but instead they put it, they put it after Parking for Students, you know? I mean, it's like the fourth week of school if students don't know where to park by now, I don't know how well they're going to do reading the paper. That's, you know. Uh, 
But anyway, why do we even have women's and, and men's soccer? You know, I mean, it's freaking soccer, okay? The, the, it's the same school they're playing for. It's the same rules and everything. Like, at the end of the day, you're just kicking balls around and getting in each other's way. I mean, women should be better than that at men anyway. So, anyway. And then, uh, let's see. We have our headline here. Students attend a Narcon training session, which, obviously, that's the headline. I mean, everyone's been talking about this Narcon training session for weeks, right? I mean, uh, come on. It's been all any, it's all anyone's been talking about. Ever since school started, people, before the Narcon training session, all the students were asking, when's the Narcon training session going to be? And then when it happened, all the students were, there was a, there was a hundred person line outside the door waiting to get into the Narcon training session. I'm saying, this is like the biggest event that Southern has had in years, okay? This is almost as big as Scuff, okay? So, right there. Um, and of course, I'm being facetious. I didn't even know that we had this uh, until I looked at this newspaper. And actually, I didn't even catch it the first time I read it. That's how uneventful it was. I had to go back the second time I read the paper. I saw that it had this. And um, anyway, basically, all you're missing is that it was a uh, training session where uh, they did a bunch of information about narcotics, right? It was like a two-hour long sit-down, you know, seminar about narcotics, right? And they're going over the statistics of, uh, you know, who uses narcotics, what to do if someone's overdosing on narcotics, what, what's, the, what's the, you know, results, you know, what, what are the, the downsides of narcotics and all that stuff. And apparently it was so boring that students had to take opioids to stay awake during the session. Um, so, that's a little ironic. Uh, now, next we have commuter students pay for meal plans. We know meal plans are uh, scams and everything. I don't even need to look at that. Uh, anyway, let's go to the second page of the news. You know, they say that people don't even read the first page of the news, right? They, they just skip right to the second page. I've heard that fact um, from a person before, so that is... Uh, Definitely, they say that the, the second page is the new first page of the paper. So, uh, right there, let's see what they decided to put on page two. Right at the top, students react to royal family and Queen Elizabeth's death. Now, I read that, and, you know, I just felt so, like, full of emotion when I read about the Queen dying. And that emotion was uh, anger, really, because I just mean, who freaking cares? You know? I mean... This is Southern Connecticut State University, which is, I will remind you in case you've forgotten, in America. Okay, so I really don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't really pertain to, to Southern. I guess we have some, I guess we have some, uh, you know, students studying abroad from Britain. I guess they could care, but now I feel like they're going to find out through other means. They're not going to pick up Southern's newspaper to read about what's going on in their country. I just feel like that doesn't, you know. Anyway. But this next article here is very interesting. Involvement fair filled with students and prizes. And we got a couple prize students right here. If you look closely, you'll see it is me and my clone. And now this is your headline right here. This is the freaking headline. This is the news that we should be talking about. We have Spencer Trella and Spencer Lane at a table they called Do Nothing Club with Ricardo Pena and Natalie Cologne for SCSU TV. Now, that should have been on the front page. I'm sorry. That is the most uh, eventful thing that has happened on this campus in a long time. So, you know, because they neglected to make that the full story, uh, we had some sleuths put together a little uh, piece about the Do Nothing Club for you now. So let, let's, let's go take a look at that. You want me to talk about the Do Nothing Club? I could talk about the Do Nothing Club, right? I mean... Basically, what happened was, you know, we're at the involvement fair uh, for Southern. Now. It was like a couple weeks ago, and you know, we're there with TV Club. You know, it's me, Natalie, Ricardo, uh, Spencer. You know, we're all we're all there, um, just chilling, right? Things are going great. We're getting a lot of people for TV Club, and then Spencer, um, my clone, just notices that next to us is an empty table, and he gets the bright idea to, well, like go over there. Well, I saw that empty table, and I took an opportunity that was handed to me. I started 
petitioning for members to join our Do Nothing Club, which originally was proposed by the co-president to be called the Spencer's Club, but I amended that constitution, which was our first and last act of doing something, to allow all members to come into the newly named Do Nothing Club. Um, yeah, so he forms, uh, you know, I see him over there, you know, and he's, you know, laughing about something, and I'm like, oh, he, he's got a good idea, because I know Spencer, he's always got good ideas, so, uh, I go over the table, I'm like, hey, what's up, buddy, and he's like, hey, I, like, what if we, could we just make our own club and, like, take over the table, and I was like, yeah, so I'm standing there, and I'm thinking it'd be great if we made it the Spencer Club, you know, because I'm Spencer, he's Spencer. I don't know if there was any other Spencers on campus. So I was like, we should just start a club that's, like, all Spencer. So anyone named Spencer joins this club, and we just talk about being Spencer and, like, you know, do good, have a good time. So I go over, I, get a, a, I rip a, a blank piece of paper out of my uh, notebook for one of my dumb classes, and I write on it, I take out a Sharpie, and I write Spencer Club you know, on there, and in parentheses, because then he said, uh, the second idea, which you all know is what it came to be, the real name was, he said, oh, like, the Do Nothing Club, like, slash, so it was the Spencer Club, and then in parentheses it said the Do Nothing Club, and we just put that on the table, which had nothing on it, aside from the piece of paper, and there was a backpack, uh, I don't know, uh, but we're standing there, and every time someone walked by, I would say, hey, you know, and they'd talk to us, I'd be like, Spencer was kind of like the good cop. I was like the bad, the mean guy. I was the bad cop. You know, Spencer would be like talking about you know how we don't do anything and how it's a lot of fun. And then I would cut in and be like, "Is your name Spencer?" And they'd be like, "No, I'd be get the hell out of here." You know, I just kick him right out. Say, "If your name's not Spencer, you cannot be part of the Spencer Club." But then um, we weren't getting any members. That was the problem. We were getting no members. And then that's when you know Spencer and I, the two members of the Spencer Club, we decided to. Uh, make an official amendment to our constitution to change the name of the club from the Spencer Club to just the Do Nothing Club. And that's how you got this. And we got a lot of members. We definitely got a lot of members. But the thing is, we're not holding meetings. We're not doing anything. Because that defeats the whole point of the club. The Do Nothing Club is all around, but you never see us. We just don't want to do anything. People just started flowing in like crazy, okay? And we got like something 20 to 40 people stopping by asking to join our club, which is crazy because, again, this is the Do Nothing Club. We didn't do anything. Like, we were just sitting there and we were open. We said no meetings, no events, nothing. We just do nothing. They couldn't even sign up, which is very important because, technically speaking, we were not an official club. We were on the radar. I knew it the moment they walked over with a clipboard and they were like, so, what club is this? And I'd say, it's the Do Nothing Club. We're not doing anything. And they'd go, okay, and they'd walk away. And then some students would come up and be like, can, can this be the club I joined for my INQ class? And we'd be like, no, I'm sorry. We literally, we didn't have any signage, so I don't know why they thought they could get away with it. Although it was uh, somewhat of a legitimate club. I don't like that. Hold on. No, that was stupid. So basically, yeah, like these people were just walking around with clipboards, which is really intimidating. So, you know, like when someone's got a clipboard, like, you know. So uh, we would just be there. And I tried, my defense that I would say, because we are right next to a uh, TV club, keep in mind, and we're wearing TV club t shirts. So I was very open. I said that it was like a appendage of the TV club. So that's how I shook a few of those clipboard holders away because I would be like, oh yeah, it's, it's the Do Nothing Club. It's an, uh, it's an appendage of the TV club. You know, we're part of the TV club. So I kind of put on this guise that we were somehow part of the TV club and that would make a few of them, you know, chuckle and walk away because they liked the idea. Um, and yeah, but really people would just come up and they would want it. That's when I realized about 15 minutes into it after we were telling people 
basically all they had to do to be a member was just say they're a member of the club and boom you're a member of the do nothing club and they weren't used to that because normally you have to put down your name and your phone number and your your student id and all that stuff for Alconnect. but we were in a real club or the do nothing club so i would just say oh you want to be a member and they'd be like yeah and i'm like well there you go you're a member boom and i did that for about 15 minutes before i realized that people were asking people would bring up their inq class and that's when i realized and i remembered from you know years ago when I took INQ, I realized that uh, they probably needed to join a club for their class. And it was like a requirement to join a club. And then that theory was confirmed by another student, like, again, like 15 minutes into us doing this, a student was like, oh yeah, well we have to join a club for INQ class, so could this be that? And that's when it hit me, like, kids are probably going to try to say they joined the Do Nothing Club. Uh, and that's why we, we kind of got in trouble because, you know, we're not a real club. And, uh, but, like I said, we were to just reiterate, we're not a real club, so they couldn't join it. And uh, shake off the clipboards. But then disaster struck when Natalie wanted a cupcake. So... I was seeing a bunch of people walk by with cupcakes, so I stopped this girl and I'm like, where'd you get your cupcake? And she points at this tent, and I'm lazy, so I don't want to walk to get the cupcake. So I tell Spencer, with an S, um, you know, can you get me a cupcake? He's like, yeah, sure. So he goes to get me this cupcake. I was super surprised he said yes. Um, but he's gone, so I'm like, okay, I'll stand with the other Spencer at their club table, fill in, um, honorary Spencer, and so some lady walks up to the table. So Spencer went to go get Natalie's cupcake, and I felt an ominous air roll in. Pick up the pieces! So, yeah, I go to get Natalie's cupcake, right? Because, whatever, she used to be my boss and stuff, and that was cool, so I, I, go, I go to get a, get a good cupcake, right? And I never thought I, how could I have known, right? How could I have known that me doing that would have led to the death of the Do Nothing Club? Or at least our table, you know. But, yeah, so I go. I, I, I find the, the big tent, the cupcake tent, if you will. I find where they're giving out these cupcakes. And I wait in line at most two minutes, okay? And I get, I get a cupcake. She wanted a chocolate one, so I got her a chocolate cupcake. And I'm walking back, I'm all happy. You know, I'm like, mission complete. I'm doing a little prance, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, dare I say, I'm happy with myself. Okay, that I complete, I got her the cupcake. And I'm walking back. And what do I see when I get back there? I'm within eyesight, I'm within, I'm probably 30 feet out from our table. And I see Spencer, my clone, co-president of the Do Nothing Club, formerly known as the Spencer Club, is not standing there okay he wasn't there and our sign wasn't on the table and the backpack was still there and i that's when i knew that something had gone horribly wrong and and i walk up to the table right and and again no one's there i find spencer he's about 20 feet down the line next to the tv club table you know and I, i'm like so i walk up to him and I say hey what the hell happened buddy like where's the where's our table and he told me, that's when he told me what happened. The boss shows up. And I'm like, oh, she's interested in the club. No. She's like, what, what's this? And Spencer's like, it's the Do Nothing Club. And without a word, they grab our sign and they rip it down. And they go, you could wear this on your back. Stick it to my back. And they say, but you can't have this table. And so... She is like, no. And we're like, what? And she grabs the Do Nothing Club poster that's on the table and like rips it off and turns this other Spencer around and sticks it on his back. And she's like, you can be the club. And I was just like, whoa. They took it from us. But what were we supposed to do? Fight for it? We can't do nothing. Uh, it was Spencer's boss. He's got another job, right? And his, his other boss from campus shows up and he tells me that 
and she just took our, 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 she just took our paper, our sign, right off it, ripped it right, right off, the, we had tape and everything, rips it right off the table, and she says, you can wear your sign, and he said, on the front of my shirt, and, and she said, no, on the back, so people couldn't even see it, so he's walking around with the, with the thing on his back, like a kick me sign, and I, I tell him, you know what, I'm sorry, Natalie, here's your cupcake, I hope it's worth it, you're eating the death of the Do Nothing Club, okay? And I, I told Spencer, you know, at least you put that sign on the front of your shirt. Okay, because I'm proud of what we did. Okay, and I stand by that. We had a lot of members. A lot of people like the Do Nothing Club. And, and they just come in and they close it down. And so Spencer wore that sign on his shirt for probably the next two days. And that was, that was it. That's a Do Nothing Club. That's about the, that's about the short of it. And, uh, you know, I, I think that the Do Nothing Club, formerly known as the Spencer Club, will live on and all of those people who came by and talked to us and tried to cheat out of their IMQ classes. And we made it in the paper, so, you know, there you go. All right, so that was, of course, the Do Nothing Club, which I'm, that was very, that was very uh, informative, I think, right? I mean, that was, I didn't know any of that stuff um, was going on, so that was, uh, you know, I, I think I learned something today about the Do Nothing Club, so that was, it was good, and, you know, I, I hope we see more of them going forward, because it really sounds like they were shut down abruptly and unlawfully, if, if, if really, if I'm being honest, so I hope we see more of the Do Nothing Club, and I have a feeling we just might, you know? Uh, anyway, so, we go to the next thing. Students' view on parking, right? We all know parking is parking is parking, whatever. Next story, we have Blackpink releases sophomore album. Now, when I first read that, I assumed, you know, because it's sophomore, I assumed, okay, it's a sophomore student, Blackpink made a song on campus, and they got their, their album in the newspaper. But I was wrong. I, I actually... You know, don't worry, I read the, the story for you, this huge story that takes up like half of the, the page here. I read the story, and uh, I'll basically tell you that it has nothing to do with Southern. Um, it's just an album review for a K-pop group. And um, I don't speak uh, Korean, so I uh, had no way of really understanding what they were singing about or anything. So I felt like I couldn't really review the album uh, very well because, you know, I... Half of music, I think, is the lyrics, so it's kind of silly to do so without being able to understand them. But Manny Turner over here does speak Korean, so I had him download the album and listen to it and analyze it, and he came up with the review. And uh, so I had him print it out so I could read it, and uh, the review was also in Korean. So I couldn't read the review, but just from like looking at the characters on the page, I, it seemed well-informed and good, so that's probably a good review. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so, you know, Manny, why don't you say something in, in Korean now for us? Whoa, whoa, dude, 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 no, 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 no. That is not cool, okay? I said say something in Korean, not about Koreans. Jesus, I got it. I have to patch that out of you. This is TV Club, man. You can't say stuff like that at all. Oh, that was... Oof. Don't worry, guys. I patched it out of him. He's no longer racist towards Koreans. Good thing, because I really like their food. Um, that was... That was really bad, dude. We are a social justice university. Next bit of news here. We have, uh, actually, not a news article in the newspaper, surprisingly enough. It is just their contact information. They put their phone number, their freaking address, the names of the editors and people involved in the newspaper, and then right next to it, they put, uh... A huge mistake they made in the last issue. They made uh, some mistakes. They talk about here making mistakes, and then right next to it, completely like right next to it, is like numbers and stuff that you can call to tell them about this mistake. And really, that is that is just really honest. Actually, I, I like that very much. That shows a lot of integrity. And uh, yeah, no, I commend them. that. That's very good. You know, here on this show, we would never admit to making a mistake ever. That's how you like lose in this industry. So yeah, uh, but no, that's that's great for them. That's very commendable. So yeah. 
All right, and then on the back of the paper, way in the back, I finally, women's soccer. I know, I forgot they were even in the paper. Uh, they're so far in the back. I completely forgot that women's soccer was even in the paper, and they lost. So, but, um, but hey, uh, men's soccer lost too, so... You know, I, I think that's the real lesson behind equality. You know, we all suck, okay? We all lose, all right? So that's, you know, the real takeaway from that. Um, football lost two, actually. 0 for 3 for the season, that is. Well, <clears throat> anyway, if you think that I was harsh, that, that was bad, or anything like that, uh, you should see TV Club's newsletters. I mean, there is a reason why we do things on film, okay? So, anyway, that was in the news. Uh, and, uh, listen, if you guys ever, you know, want to talk to us, you know, we'll, we'll do a segment here. Now, I don't have any yet because, uh, well, we just started. But we have a Twitter and an email where you can, you can tweet stuff to us and email stuff to us and, uh, well, well, we'll read it on the show, maybe, and talk about it, and, you know, you can answer, ask us anything. We pretty much, between me and Manny Turner, we kind of, we can answer any question you pose to us. So, really, just let it, anything on your mind, you just let us know, we'll, we'll give you the, the answer, anything bothering you, but just make sure when you, when you, like, write to us, you address Manny Turner specifically, like, Spencer and Manny, because he gets, he'll, he gets, like, really upset when people just write to me, and he's here, you know, and, and he's trying his best, you know, and, and uh, he'll get, like, a real complex about it if, if you do not include him in the letter, so just make sure you mention him by name. But we're almost done with the show. I think the last segment, which we do every episode, you guys probably remember from previous weeks, we do every episode, I uh, am going to just try to call my grandma and see if she has any words of wisdom. She's a very wise woman, so maybe she has something to tell us. I just want to tell her I'm doing, you know, the show for a step, so it's a big deal, so let me, let me just call my ground. It's ringing. Hey, how's it? Hello? That's... Oh, no, I'm... Grandma? No, I'm not. I'm not feeling naughty. What are you... What? What are you talking about money for? What? Hello? What the... That was a phone sex hotline. Why was that in... I was at my grandma's house. Okay, you know what? We're going to forget that segment. Okay, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll try again next week. Maybe we'll have better luck with it next week. Um, that was just not, I don't I don't know what that was. That wasn't the right, I think I misdialed the number or something. I called the wrong thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that was, um, that was the first episode. Um, that was, yeah. That was really something. Uh, Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really have anything else to talk about. We don't have a guest. We'll get guests later on. Trust me. We'll get we'll get some guests. We'll get some guests. Uh, anyway, so uh, Manny Turner, anything you want to add? Well, that was it. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Um, unless there's some weird end of the show segment that I'm forgetting about. So uh, yeah, I'll. Uh, 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 that's about it. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you asked. I wore it because of all the Canadian viewers that we had. I figured they'd think it was cool. And I wore, I'm a fan of Canada. I like the syrup. I like poutine and I like stuff like that. And I have it in good faith that we have a few Canadian viewers watching. So, you know, that's why I wore, I wore the, the Canadian tie today. Never again. I'm just going to wear this one time. You know, I'll tell them I really like Canada or whatever. But I'm not, I'm, you know, it's all, it's all fake. It's all just for the show. It's all... You know, it's all just phony. I'm not, I don't actually, it's whatever. Like, it's okay. It's not my country, but I'm not, like, super into it or something. I don't like, like, Canada. You know what I'm saying? I just, I like Canada. I don't like, like, it like that. I just, I have a tie. It's a whole thing. Oh, we are, we, we yeah. are, we are filming. Um, well, uh, that's interesting. So, anyway, uh, welcome to the end part of the show that no one forgot about, um, where we talk about... Uh, what we learned this morning on the show, as it is quite early, so we are wrapping things up. So, I learned that doing a talk show is very difficult, you know, and, uh, yeah, I also learned that the Do Nothing Club is 
very interesting and that there's a lot of lore behind there and that I think I hope we see I, I hope we see more of the do nothing club around here. I, I just think I do. I think I'd love to see some, you know, do nothing club continue to do nothing. That's that's all I hope. Um uh, what did you learn on the show this morning? Well I learned that Southern sucks at sports. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a little harsh, but you know I I can't really deny it. You know, we're not we're not doing too well so far. Um but uh, you know, maybe we'll do better. You know, we have time. This is the early. We've only been in, in school for like a month, so you know, I'm sure we'll get better as time goes on. You know, they'll learn from their mistakes. We'll get better and better, and we'll probably get some dubs later on. And when that happens, when when see, I'm being so optimistic right now. I'm being so optimistic. When it happens, uh, I will report on it. You know, I'm an honest reporter. If it's in the paper, I will read it, and I will, you know, say if you guys, hey, they won a game this week. You know, hopefully I get to, those words get to come out of my mouth sometime uh, during the show. But anyway, so what did we forget this morning on the show? I know what I forgot. I forgot about Fact Frog. I completely, I just now remembered Fact Frog. It was a segment with, but let's go see what Fact Frog has to say. For this. I, I, we can't do without Fact Frog. We got here. Нью-Мексико стал 47-м штатом, присоединившимся к Союзу. Always cryptic, that fact frog. Very cryptic and oddly Russian. But um, anyway, what did, what did you forget this morning? I, I feel like I, I don't remember why I hate Koreans. Yeah, right, because I, I passed that out of you. We, we like Koreans now, right? We like, I mean, I, I always liked Koreans. I just throw that out there. Uh, but with you now, you, you, you like Koreans now. I guess I do. You do. You do. It's canon. Um, and anyway, so uh, that was, that's, that's about all I got for you. And, uh, you know, I, I would say I hope you enjoyed the show, but that's, I think, completely unreasonable. So to be more truthful, I hope that you turned the show off about, like, 20 minutes ago because this was god-awful. But... If you are here until the end, that means that you uh, were here for the first and the worst episode of the Early Early Show. So uh, this is kind of a, a big moment in TV club and, dare I say, SCSU history. So, uh, yeah, and, and I promise, well, I don't want to promise anything, but they'll probably get better as time goes on. This should be the worst. If this is not the worst episode of the show... <laughs> I don't even want to think about that timeline. This this has to be the worst episode of the show. All right, it, it just it just has to be. Anyway, go go away or something. I don't know. Go write your paper. I'm serious. You procrastinated long enough. Spencer, that involvement fair was pretty great. You know, I think I think the do not I think the do nothing club was a big success. And I was just thinking, like, we got we got a ton of people for that. We got like forty people. We have like forty members of that club. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking, like, should we like hold an event or like like do something for that or? Nah. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm ashamed that I asked.